What's up guys, Coach Alex here with another Sasquatch Strength at Home Body Weight Workout. Today we've got a nice long chipper for you. This is gonna be for time. We're gonna start off, we've got 70 double unders. If you don't have your double unders, you're gonna do 140 box toe taps or 210 single unders, okay? Then we've got 60 sit-ups, okay? 50 squat jumps, 40 side plank with rotation. You can do 20 on each. 30 squat jacks, something different. I'll take a look at that. 20 box jumps, and then 10 burpee broad jumps. So let's take a look at some of our movements and modifications okay. for today. So to start off today, if you've got your jump rope and you've got double unders, you're gonna knock out 70. If you don't, you can do 210 singles, or we can do these box toe taps. We're gonna do 140. This is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna knock out alternating jumps, okay? Lifting and driving up that knee to about 90 degrees, tapping the top of the couch, or the 90 degrees, we'll drive it, okay? Try not to get lazy and lean back and kick, okay? Then we're gonna move on. We've got 60 sit-ups. Okay, just like we do, feet together. I'm gonna lie back, sit up nice and tall, core tight, hinging at the hips. Not flexing and rounding at the spine. Okay, if we need to do crunches, we can do crunches right here, same thing, core tight. Hinge, pull with those hips, pull your hips back as far as you can right there. As opposed to, again, trying to focus on pulling and rounding that upper back. Okay, then we've got 50 squat jumps. You're gonna be up in your squat stance. Come down, thighs about parallel, big jump. Knock them out, okay? If you have to break them up in small sets, that's absolutely fine. Make sure you're breathing, okay? Air squats would be the next scaling option, okay? If we need something a little bit more low impact, okay? Make sure that we're going to depth, okay? If we're really having a hard time with depth, we always mark that depth with the chair, okay? Then we're gonna do 40 side plank with rotation, okay? You're gonna be down. And what I'm looking to do, I'm rotating from side plank into a one arm front plank up on the tips of my toes, Falling back to that side plank, squeezing my lats, okay? Getting some recruitment there. A little bit of single arm, shoulder, and lat work. Do 20 on one, and then 20 on the other. If you're having a hard time with that single arm work, what we'll do instead is a plank hip tap, okay? Getting some one arm strength from here, taking the rotation out, but squeezing and firing that lat with some intention there on each one of those taps. Then I've got 30 squat jacks, a little bit different. What you're gonna do, a drop squat and hop right back up. So I drop and I'm up. And I'm moving my feet like a jumping jack, but I'm dropping in and out of those squats. If you wanna do a speed squat for 30, that's totally fine as well. Take some of that impact out. Then we've got 20 box jumps, okay? You're gonna jump onto your chair and off your chair. If you don't feel like beating it up, you can always step up and step down. Okay, and if you don't have something to step up and step off on, we can do more squat jumps. Okay, down and up. Give me 20 additional squat jumps. Then we're gonna finish up, and we've got 10 burpee broad jumps. Come down, shoot those feet back. Okay, hit my hips to the floor. Come back to a press. I'm gonna shoot my hips back and broad jump out. Hop, turn around and step. Turn around and repeat. Now, every two minutes, we're gonna stop and we've got 50 mountain climbers. So, watching that clock, when it turns, you're gonna hit your 50 mountain climbers right here. So big long conditioning piece today, guys. Stay ahead of that clock. Let's have a good workout.